Hello guys, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing okay. Today I will talk on one of the largest educational company in India which is Bijas. Guys you might be searching for sales related job. And Bijas is offering you job as a BDA that is business development associate. In case you have applied for the job already. And you guys might be searching for interview process and interview questions which are generally asked by Bijas. Well worry not. I have included everything that you need to know about Bijas before joining in this video. I hope you will enjoy the video. Job profile you will be applying for is. Business Development Associate, BDA. This is a sales related job offered by Bijas. In this video I will include everything you need to know about Bijas. Eligibility criteria, how to apply for Bijas, job location, salary, and tentative date of joining, job responsibilities, preferred skill sets, about the company profile, various interview round and the interviews questions which are generally asked. Eligibility criteria for the BDA profile. The candidate should have a bachelor's in engineering or BTEC. MBA. Or MBA plus bachelor's in engineering or BTEC degree. 10th grade cutoff score should be 60% or above. UG or PG cutoff score should be 6 CGPA or 55% and above. The candidate should be a 2020, 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016, 2015, 2014, pass out. You might be wondering how to apply for the Bijas. There are two ways you can apply for the Bijas. First way you can appear for the interview process from college campus. Secondly, you can also apply through Bijas career website. I will share the link in the description. Click on it and you will be directed to Bijas career site. For your reference I have added the link here. Check the video description. After you complete the interview process you will have the option to choose. The job location, salary, and date of joining. Job location is across India. You will have to complete your training. And post that you can choose the city you want to work for. You can request the same with your manager. The salary offered is quite big for fresher and so is job responsibility I can say. The salary is 7 lakh per annum and 3 lakh per annum is variable. The final CTC will depend upon candidate's performance and experience during the interview and will be at the company's discretion. The working days are 5 days a week. And you will have off days on Monday and Tuesday. Once you are done with the interview. And if your interview went well then you can expect your date of joining within 15 to 30 days. Before applying for the job you need to understand the job responsibilities. While you work you have to generate revenue by counseling prospects and converting them to sales. You will have to convert free app users to paid users using emails, SMS, and direct sales. You will be explaining the importance of higher education and tools to be used to prepare for the process. Explaining by just test prep and admissions consulting products. Share information on various courses, colleges, test prep products, application process, and deadlines on proactive basis for a broad education. Answer questions about products or service and delivering to the need of the customer. While going for the interview make sure have these skill sets. You should have keen interest in education. You should be interested in mentoring students. You should have a knack for sales and positioning an idea. You should have excellent spoken and verbal skills. You should have ability to plan and execute. You should have ability to persuade and negotiate. You should have ability to work under stress. You should have ability to work in a team. You should be a fast learner, keen on details, and self-motivated. And most importantly you should have a knack for marketing. While appearing for the interview you need to have a knowledge about the company you are applying for. For your reference, I have included the company's profile. Think and Learn Private Limited is a pioneer in the global edtech segment and the parent company of Bijas the learning app. The Bijas app is the largest K-12 learning app in the world with over 10 million students learning on it. 
Bijus the learning app provides lessons in math and science for students from grade 4 to 12 through formats such as videos, tests, quizzes, personalized learning paths and even games. There are programs also for competitive examinations like the DZE, NEAT, CAT, GRE, GMAT, and UPSC. It was also the first Asian company to get the backing of Facebook's founder Mark Zuckerberg. Now the most important section is understanding the interview rounds which take place in Bijus. If you are applying from college placement you will have to face two rounds GD and personal interview. If you apply from their career website you will have to attend two rounds. First round will be a telephonic round. Second round will be video round through Zoom app. Now let's take a deep look into the campus interview process first. The first round is namely. Group discussion. That is GD round. The first round of Bijus off-campus drive selection process is GD. Based on the number of applicants, candidates will be divided into groups. If 20 candidates make a group, then that GD will happen for 20 minutes. A few topics asked in previous Bijus off-campus drive are. Should restaurants be open 24 hours, artificial intelligence, demonetization, boon or bane, money or love, importance of marketing, GST impacts, digital India. Note, current topics are most commonly taken for GD. Note, sometimes Bijas may exclude this round and can conduct two personal interview rounds. Now the personal interview is same for both the off-campus and on-campus interview. This round is generally take to check candidates' communication skills, confidence, and intrapersonal skills are tested in this round. It is very important to be confident and stress-free in this round. Now we will look in some of the personal interview question which are generally asked by the Bijas. Now in this section we will talk about the questions which are commonly asked by Bijas. The first question is introduce yourself. This question needs to be answered in detail. You can include your name, from where you are, your educational details, your internship experience, if any. You can talk about the final year project, your work experience, your career goals, your strength and weakness. Include your achievement. Keep the answer short, concise and simple. This question is generally asked to check your communication skill, how you present yourself. The second question is tell me about your family. In this type of question you will have to tell about your mom dad's profession. If you are having any siblings. You can tell them what are they doing but in short. Usually you can include this part in introduce yourself question. Third question which is commonly asked if you are from engineering background. The question is why do you want to start your career in sales after completing your BTEC. In mechanical engineering or any other field. You need to be careful while answering this question. You will have to give a valid reason. Don't just rush while answering. I will share some key phrases that you can use while answering. You could say you have knack for sales, you have excellent communication skill that you can use to convince customers. You can also include that you have inclination toward sales. Prepare your own answer. If you are interested I will make one more video on how to answer these type of question. Just leave a comment in the comment section. Now moving to next important question. Fourth question why do you want to work with Bijas? In this type of question the interviewer is basically wanted to know the positive point that Bijas has. So just tell how you and company share same goals. What attracts you the most about the Bijas? What do you like the most or what inspires you to be a part of Bijas? Do some research about Bijas before answering it. Fifth question could be what do you know about Bijas? This question is generally asked to know what do you know about the company. You can prepare a well answer. Sixth question could be why did you not go for the higher studies? This question can be asked on depending upon what do you answer in third question. Prepare a valid answer for this. Seventh question could be why do you want to work for this post? The question can be answered similarly as third question. That is why do you want to work in sales? Eighth question is what is the difference between sales and marketing? This is important question. 
where the interviewer wants to know that you know the basics of the sales and marketing. Ninth question is how long do you plan to stay in this company? While answering this question make sure you say you are looking for long-term opportunity. Tenth question is somewhat tricky. The interviewer will try to analyze your point of view. He will ask questions like, Between money and development what matters to you most? Keep your answer balanced and neutral. Eleventh question is tell me three things about yourself which will make me hire you. Here you can answer your best qualities. Such as your hard working nature, positive attitude. Twelfth question how long you want to be a part of the company and why? This is similar question as ninth question. So just answer it accordingly. Thirteenth question will you be able to tackle stress? Basically interviewer wants to know your capability of handling the stress. Fourteenth question can you talk about a controversial topic for one minute? This is a question generally asked to check your communication skill, on spot thinking ability. How you speak. Generally choose current topics. To answer this type of question. Fifteenth question what are your area of interests? While answering this question make sure you answer thoughtfully, interviewer might ask tricky questions based on your answer. Sixteenth question tell me three qualities to hire you. Here you can answer your best qualities. This is similar to question to eleventh question, these questions are asked to check that you have required qualities for this post or not. Seventeenth question how will you sell something which doesn't exist? Now here comes some sales related question. Which often decide you are good seller or not. I have list down. Some of the sales related tricky question. Give a thought while preparing answer. 18th question sell me this pen slash phone slash macbook. 19th question what are necessary qualities for a salesperson? 20th question how will you sell a water bottle to a drowning person? Question number 21 is how will you sell a fish to a brahmin? Question number 22 how would you sell this water bottle to me? Question number 23 how will you sell our app? In this type of question, the interviewer wants to know how you can sell their product. Keep your answer short and simple and to the point. 24 question is how can you improve sales? Here the interviewer want to know the how a salesman can improve his sales. So prepare for it. 25 question is how can you promote our Bijas app? Here the interviewer will want to know. What are your thoughts on to expand the Bijas app sale? 26 question is how will you sell Bijas app to a child, who is scoring 99%, sell Bijas to his slash her parents? Some of these type of questions are generally asked. Just to know how quickly you think. These questions needs to address on spot. 27 question is how will you convince a father in Marathi, local or native language? Basically the interviewer is checking your command over sales in your native language. So be firm while answering. These questions decides your overall on spot thinking ability. Interviewer can also ask questions depending upon the circumstances. So while answering question give a thought, don't just rush while answering. I hope this short video was helpful for you to prepare for the interview. If you are interested me to answer this question in my next video. Just leave a comment so that I can share answer to these questions in detail.